Hello guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, working on laptops, you know what I'm saying? Um, talk, um, go over what tools you, you would need if you're working on laptops. Um, along with, you know what I'm saying, what to consider, you, what, what, what are your limitations and best practices, you know what I'm saying? So the first thing you would need in order to carry out any laptop repairs is a laptop um, toolkit which looks a little bit like this you know something like this or this even you know this is a good toolkit it has everything you need you know what I'm saying like these plastic bits over here which you can uh, use to you know open up back covers of new laptops and stuff you know you need these spudges over here sometimes to um you know again i'm saying um detach wires i'm saying within the laptop you, know, you got this anti-static wristband i'm saying one bit goes on to um like you know and this suction thing over here which you could use to lift up LCD screens if you needed to, you know, a little brush, all this stuff. So this is very handy, a good toolkit to have, you know, when, especially when carrying out laptop repairs. Like even something like this, this is another good one. You know, saying, you know, you see something like this, you know, you get different bits over here, you know, that you can use. Also, when you carry a laptop repairs, you have to make sure that uh, you don't use the wrong bits. You know what I'm saying? Because if you end up using the wrong bits, you can end up stripping the screws. You know, like you have Phillips bits. You know what I'm saying? So, Phillips bits look like this. Phillips. Sorry, Phillips screws. Phillips screw. Uh, then, you, then you have these ones over here. These type ones. You know, pentalope, which goes into Max. I'm saying these are these are the type of screws that you'll find on a MacBook. I'm saying these ones over here. Then you have um, Robertson. These ones over here. So you can use a magnetized, magnetized screw. screwdriver like this one over here you know but some tech technicians you know what I'm saying um, to, are against them like you know so they'll say don't use a magnetic tip screwdriver because if you have a magnetic hard drive you know what I'm saying that can cause problems with that you know what I'm saying uh, so a lot of people avoid using magnetic tip screwdrivers on a hard drive but other than that you can use it you can still use it but don't use it on a hard drive because of you know moving components and especially older hard drives and you also have a magnifying glass i'm saying that you can use magnifying This helps to identify screw types. I'm saying something like this: a mag magnifier or magnify magnifying glass. I'm saying you can see what screw types are, especially on a Mac. And also helps you identify which screw type to use. If you don't have it, have it, but you know, you can, you know, bring the laptop closer to your eyes and see, like I'm saying, what type of screws are have been put in there. You know what I'm saying? 
or what type of screws it's been screwed with, the back of the laptop or whatever part of your component you're op trying to open. Then you have the anti-static wrist strap. So this is another handy tool which you will need, especially when you're in a professional environment, even at home. You know. You know, you need something like this. You know. Um, this is a good idea to have. Uh, then you have like. Uh, air compressors, air compressors, uh, you get cans, these cans over here, if you carry out, if you wanted to like, clean up your, the inside of your computer, like the fan or, you know, say motherboard, use something like this, you know, saying a compressed air can to do that. I uh, follow the instructions on the um, can and how to use it. So there's two types, uh, there's different types of repairs. One of the, um, like for example, no, no, there's, there's something called field replaceable units. This means like something like a motherboard can, for example, if you call, let's just say any, any, any computer company and your, let's just say a motherboard stopped working. They can send an engineer over to your house to with the components that you need if you tell them okay this is the problem you can send someone over with with the motherboard and they'll come to your house and replace it for you right in front of you that's called a field replaceable unit you know what i'm saying a keyboard is a field complete uh replaceable sorry field replaceable unit or fru lcd screen would be considered one one of those um, you know, like I said, like motherboard is one of them. It could be a printer, circuit board, hard drive, optical drive, battery, or other components. You know what I'm saying? Well, for some some of them, you have to. If you dropped your laptop, then you need to send it over to the electronics repair center. The best practice. So these are some of the best practices for laptop work. Hold on. So. Always set up a clean and quiet area so you're not distracted. And have plenty of space so you can spread out the screws, you know what I'm saying, all over the table. Before you carry out any repairs, make sure you collect and view online resources, you know what I'm saying, any configuration details, a service manual, PDFs, which can be hard to find, and watch videos from reliable sources, you know what I'm saying. If you carry out like you know some research before you open your computer and I'm saying then you should be fine. I'm saying, but if you're not sure, take it to a professional. You know, take it, take it to talk to your manufacturer. Remove any removable removable media, you know, say such as DVDs, SCD, SD cards, USB sticks, anything like you know I'm saying USB cables that are left in the computer. Like if you have an external mouse and keyboard plugged in, take that out. And also shut down your computer completely. Non, don't put it to sleep or stand by, standby mode or state. Completely shut it down. I'm saying give it like a minute or two, then you carry out repairs. I'm saying where your anti wrist wrist uh, strap carry on the carry out the repairs. So what you can do is you can go and hold on. I'll show it to you. So what you do, like for example, you see this web. This is Dell's website. Uh, you can go on there to um, put in your computer's name over here. You know, serial number, model, and it will display. You know, what I'm saying the drivers it has available. You know, what I'm saying support videos over here, support library. You know, software library, diagnostic tools. So you will go here and get started. Like you know, if there's a issue with your audio speakers you know what i'm saying if you click on it this, this tells you, you know what i'm saying okay this is where you what you need to do these are a few tips where you need to you know what i'm saying um follow in order to you know get this fed or you can also go on knowledge base over here uh why can't i do this knowledge base 
Oh, it's so annoying. Hold on. Um, knowledge base, yeah. Uh, you can go on like different. There's different things over here. You can go support videos. I'm saying. So what I'm saying is basically watch all these videos first before you carry on and you repair. And if you're not sure, still, I was saying go and seek advice or help from a professional instead of carrying out something yourself that you don't have an experience or you don't feel comfortable doing. Okay, so, you know, you read the documentation, so your instruction manual that came with your computer, you know what I'm saying? So, like you can run diagnostics. Well, there's so much, go on your manufacturer's website and there should be something similar to this, you know what I'm saying? Something similar to this and you can, you know, do driver updates and see what new drivers are, have come out and read about any problems that, they may, or like for example, sometimes you have Windows updates that cause problem with, you know, existing software. So, you know, saying stuff like that. So you can clicking on this like drivers updates. You can type in your computer's name, and it will identify the different drivers. You know, what I'm saying they're available or that you need to have updated to support library. Getting started. You know, what I'm saying, um, you know, all knowledge based articles. There's, there's so much you know what I'm saying over here to read through. You know, saying this goes into a lot of detail. How to go about fixing things or you know where to find stuff. So do have a look at this. So some best practices for laptop work is unplug your computer from AC power first. Disconnect all cables and attached devices, including network like Ethernet cables, display like your know, external screens. You know, what I'm saying take out the VGA cable. Or, um or hdmi cable you know say from your computer or laptop so desktop or comp your laptop keyboard external keyboards and mice you know, if you have plugged in or anything else that you have plugged in remove the battery if it's a laptop and press and hold the power down to discharge motherboard components so once you've taken out the battery you know, still press and hold the power button you know saying you know to completely discharge any motherboard you know, say components you know, saying and electricity you know saying and give it at least a 60 second gap before you do anything else and always remove, always remember to remove the battery and discharge power. Speaking of batteries, you know I'm saying there are some common laptop maintenance items. You know I'm saying these are like some common uh, laptop main maintenance items. So I think it's called uh, pronounced Li Ion Leon. I hope I've pronounced that right. I'm saying my pronunciation is not good. I'm saying sorry. I'm saying um, batteries have high power densities but short life times. Recycle old ones responsibly. So if you have one of these Leon, I'm saying I just call them that <laughs> batteries. Um, Leon, I think that's how you pronounce. I'm going to Google it on batteries you know make sure if you've taken them out yeah you, you know what i'm saying discharge them recycle you know take it to some place where you can safely discharge uh, recycle it you know what i'm saying and you can also um you might also need a Organizer you can have a parts organizer for your computer and last but not least you can have a head mounted magnifying glass with light if you need to have them on uh, something similar to what this guy has on you know what I'm saying, you know, this is only, this is so, you know what I'm saying, you freeze up your hands. So this was a short, um, not a short video, but long video about, you know what I'm saying, laptop repair, uh, working with laptops. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye.